Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, so I have a Tuesday morning haul to share with you guys. Um, it's not big. Um, uh, and I, I found a few good things. It's not big, but um, I thought I'd share what I did find. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave it down below. So, um, first things first. I love this brand of shortbread, but, um, they didn't have, maybe they did, I don't know. I think they're the same, I'm not sh I don't know, they're not the same. Okay, so they had these they're in the shape of the little bears and um if they taste anything like the sticks well then i'm gonna be a happy camper um they are kind of pricey they are 349 but i haven't had any of those in a while so i picked those up and then i picked these up um campbell's pure butter shortbread fingers I normally get this type, but I think it was this brand, but I didn't see these in that brand. I hope I'm not confusing anybody, but so I thought I'd pick at least one up of these and see if they're the same, different, you know, what have you. But, and those were also $3.49. So there's that. Then... Um, I really didn't get, uh, much in the crafty department. Uh, I found, now this was there the last time I went and I put it back, but it was still there today, so I went ahead and picked it up. It is, one, two, three, uh, these are all separate pieces, and, um... Then you have the board, and then you can hang it if you'd like. So you can decoupage these, paint them. Um, you can do all kinds of things with this. So I thought this would be a fun project to do somewhere down the road. And the fact that it was there when I went back this time meant that I was supposed to pick it up. That's how I look at it. Uh, a lot of times when I see something, I'm like... If it's still there when I come back, then I was meant to get it. If it's not, then I wasn't meant to. So, and I, I know some of y'all will be shocked, but I do that actually a lot. As much as I pick up, I leave just as much behind. And, uh, and this was the only one I saw in the store. So anyway, so I got that. Then, uh, I saw these Brea Reese watercolor creams. Um, y'all know I have a weakness for watercolor, and I thought I would pick these up. I have a feeling they're probably going to work a lot like, you know, like the Tim Holtz crayons, um, stuff like that. It's probably the same thing. Um, gelatos. So, there is that. It says, draw or add water to paint. So, so yeah, so there's that. And on to the same topic of watercolor. Uh, I thought I would try this King Art palette. It's only 18 wells. And I don't have a lot of... Oh, Lord, why can't I think of his name right now? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to bump y'all. I can't think of his name right now. Um, it's a watercolor here in the States. It's kind of pricey per tube. And maybe I can find it on. I don't have Amazon open. Well, imagine that. It's not even there. Wow. Guess I haven't been. Oh, there we go. Uh, as soon as I see it, I know I'm going to be like, duh. Oh, Daniel Smith. There we go. I don't have a lot of Daniel Smith, so they should fit in this palette. The only thing about it is that it is a plastic palette, so um, the wells are going to stain, 
But what I did like about this was, I'm going to pull it out and share with you guys, because I did open it up in the store before I, I decided to get it. Um... So it has this uh, little plastic insert here. So you can use this as your mixing well, your, your, your mixing area. You can leave it in and protect the top. You can pull it out and have like an even bigger area to mix your colors. You also have these two, but remember it's going to stain. Um, so if you get into watercolor and you realize, oh, it's not pretty anymore, you, it's, that's just it, the nature of the beast. Um, good watercolors, they're going to stain because of the pigment that is in them. Um, but it, it does have a seal on it, and um, which I like. Um, it can keep, so like, Dan, not Daniel Smith. There's another brand I can't think of, um, M. Graham. M. Graham, their base is Honey. And the honey, um, because of that, the watercolor will always stay tacky. It will never dry really hard. And um, a lot of your watercolors that like dry really hard and crack and crumble, it's because of the fillers that they put in there. And um, so that causes a lot of, so it's a lot of extra fillers so that you're not getting as much pigment. Um, that's how they make them cheap. But, uh, oh, and gouache is the same way. Um, this is similar to the, is it Magello? I think the Magello uh, palettes that I have. I doubt it's the same quality. I don't know. But um, I really do like these type of watercolor palettes. So I went ahead and picked that up. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this away. It was $9.99. says normally $20. Bucks, but um, anyway, so there's that. Then I found this. I was really happy the cashier I had. She actually wraps stuff like really well. And I love this. Uh, this stuff's usually made in Mexico. Oh, this says made in China. Um, the good stuff's usually made in Mexico. Um, but I love this kind of glassware that has the the colors that are melted in and the bubbly look. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I thought it would be really fun. So I picked that up. It was only $5.99, which is a great price, actually. So I got that. And I'm only going to show one of these. I have been stocking these for over a year at Tuesday morning. And they went on clearance, but I didn't think they went on clearance enough. And then, so this past Sunday and Monday, clearance was an additional 25% off. So I got these goblets, it says Napa style. It says they're normally $13 a piece. And I think I ended up getting them for like $3 and because they were 40% off with another 25. And just a little FYI, 40% off with an additional 25 doesn't mean 65% off. What that actually means is you get 40% off the $6.99 and then you get 25% off what's left over of the $6.99. So the markdown, the additional 25 is what's left. So you're not actually getting the 65% off. Um, so, so what, four times, uh, six times seven is what, three? I'm having a total brain fart. Is it 36? No, 42. So 420 is what the 40% off was, and then another 25% off the 420. So, yeah, so it was like another like three dollars and something cents a cup and so I picked up six I really wanted eight but they only had seven and I probably should have picked up the seventh one 
but I've I've been eyeing these for well like it says right there they've had it since 419 and we're going into 2021 so I was really happy to finally get a set of these so six of those and I don't think there's anything else from Tuesday morning so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you some items I picked up from Walmart I went to Walmart today I so lucked out um, so the ornaments that I did this past weekend and I didn't like, I gave to one of the girls at work and um, reached out to Ashley on Artsy Ashley. Hey girl. And she does your ornaments and she swears up and down by polycrylic. So I picked up the polycrylic today. I found it at Walmart. I had to get the bigger can, which was like 18 bucks because um, I didn't have the little one. So I got one of those. I'm not going to share it because it's downstairs, but they had Walmart hats. So they had that. And then they had these little, the little flicker bulbs. Um, I remember these as a little girl. And uh, so I picked up, what, five of these? It was all they had there um, in our Walmart. So I picked up all five. I got those because um, if you've never seen these before, I haven't tested these ones, but the old ones, when they were, good ones actually really look like a flame. Um, I've seen them where they look really weird, like totally not like a flame, but um, I went ahead and picked those up for $1.22 a piece. And fortunately, my hubby doesn't watch my videos, so he is a total Star Wars nerd, and he is totally addicted to The Mandalorian, and my daughter saw this, and so that's going to sit outside of stocking as a outside stocking stuffer. So he'll probably take that to work. Anyway, so got that. And I got these last year. They were so fun. I only picked up one. I think, actually, I think I might have gotten two. And when I went back, they were sold out. Well, they're back again this year. These, um, they're dancing lights. And they do play to your mute. They react to the music. And so they are so fun. So, um, they had them this year in the white. And they had them in the color. Now they have them in the um, 100 color 32 feet 8 inch set for $7.98 and they also had another one I think that was like a 50 count for $5.98. So I went, a, I went ahead and picked up two of each of these. So um, we have some little, you know, like tabletop trees. So I figured it might be fun to try these on those. So there's that. And wait, yes. oh yeah, that's, I'll go ahead and share this. This, um, this was something I ordered on eBay. I probably won't do anything with it right away, but it goes with some cruel, um, so it's called Jacobian Cruel Work. And this isn't that, but it's the same style. So these are just the print, um, print work and cruel work. I think I am saying it right. Um, it's like this type of artwork with, I don't want to call it knitting or whatever, but they're really pretty. And I thought these would make cute little throw pillows or make maybe I'll do something different for the so my daughter's room is going to become as I've told a lot of you guys you know um, um, coastal farmhouse where my son's room who just moved out that one's going to be just like antique so stuff like this is hung up in that room and I just thought these would be fun little accents um, probably oh look ABCs and one, two, threes. 
So, anywho, so there's that. And that's that's it. So I guess we call this the little collective haul, I think. So, um, yeah. So I guess I'll stick that right there. And um, so I hope you enjoy this. Like I said, not a big one. Um, but they really didn't have anything I was looking for. I was hoping to find in Tuesday morning, they had some of the Ken Oliver, some Ken Oliver products that I was looking for, but I haven't seen them in our, in my stores. And I was also looking for some of the, I want to say Echo Park. I think it's Echo Park, but some of the coordinating cardstock for some of the paper packs that are in there, like Sail Away. I can't remember if Sail Away is, Echo Park or if it's photo play or what anyway um I was looking for some of those and I didn't find them so they had lots of paper but nothing that I felt the need to you know had to come home like I really needed any more paper uh, but yeah so that's what's going on um Tomorrow, I'm going to, so you guys are going to see this tonight, Tuesday night. I'm also recording tonight, uh, tomorrow's video, which is going to be a Tonic Studios haul. I just got in two orders today, and uh, I, th I got notification today that I've got like two or three more orders that just shipped. So, I have a total of like, I think seven or eight more orders that are waiting to ship. They're just, I don't know why, what happened with them but I mean I know they got swamped but anywho there's that so you guys are going to be seeing a lot of Tonic Studios coming up um, I didn't see a um, Wednesday die sale today there also wasn't a weekender bundle now there was uh, one on the UK site and there is currently a week, uh, Wednesday die sale posted on the UK site but not on the US so, um, if you're in the UK, uh, run over cause they've prop that what I saw looked really good. Um, yeah, see the U S site still only shows the glitter sale and nothing updated, um, where the UK site. So let's, let's do a little peeky here. See if it'll load the UK. Um, see, they got their Wednesday die sell here in the UK. Let's see what they get a peek at. They've got the cantilever box. They've got a mystery die bundle. That are some cute pattern uh, panels that I have not seen and I do not have. So I'm bummed about that. I do have those. That's a really good deal on the um, Liaison set collection. And then they have the storage um, case, but um, I don't, I think that's the regular price. So that's not marked down. I don't really ever see this one marked down. So, and this embossing tool here, this is a really great tool if you are wanting to do um, add dimension to flower petals. Um, I have quite a few of those and they're fantastic. I highly recommend that. So, with that, I am going to close it here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope to see you tomorrow with the Tonic Studios haul. Um, and uh, uh, the reason why I'm not going to do one tomorrow night is because I have to, tomorrow I go to the dentist to get the temporary put in, and I don't know if it's going to hurt. And honestly, if, if I hurt, I don't think I'm going to want to talk. So... <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, with that, I love you guys to pieces as always. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.